Hey guys, today uh, I'm going to be showing you my music room plus my CD collection. So on my old channel, I did show my drum set and there's a couple other videos in here. And you could kind of see the room, but I figured I'd do a dedicated tour on this channel. So uh, when you walk in, usually the first thing you'll see is this. I don't know, just every, everyone always notices this first, so I guess I'll start here. Uh, this is my drum set. It's a Ludwig Breakbeats kit with Zildjian ZBT cymbals. They are really loud. I might get new ones, but um, they get the job done. I just cracked one as well, so that's another reason to get new cymbals, because this crack keeps expanding. It was like it was like this big when it was a little bit. There's some posters here, uh, Rage Against the Machine. Some Bruins posters for games I went to. I saw two games in the Stanley Cup final this year, which they lost both of them. Luckily, though, I got to see a bunch of other times the Bruins played in the playoffs. Um, definitely a sad loss, but congrats to the Blues and their fans. This one I didn't actually go to, but my dad brought home a poster. I have, like, a bunch of Bruins posters in my room. Like, my bedroom, not here. Um, over here is my desk. We have some monitors here I don't, I don't care if they're set up wrong they get the job done this is an offspring album cover i drew in fifth grade rise and fall rage of grace great album that was one of the one of the first albums i ever heard got me into uh punk rock and then that turned into metal there's a green day poster it's pretty cool um i got two green day posters for christmas one year but then one of them was a duplicate so i Brought that down here. Good. There we go. Metallica, Master of Puppets. Great Metallica album. And this poster looks sick. Uh, funny story. On Christmas, my grandma and my mom both bought this poster. One of them was supposed to get this one, which I actually just got now. Because um, uh, I, I was trying to get some posters up here. It slipped on. Uh, my guitars, of course. I got some wall mounts quite a while ago they look pretty cool and then I got this one on the floor so this is my Squire Strat it's white very very nice guitar sounds great this is a uh, Epiphone Les Paul I got for free from my cousins who never used it so they said hey why don't you have it for this I'm very thankful for I mean oh yeah this guitar I also got for free um this was my uncle's, but uh, when he died, we got to have some of his stuff, and we got the guitar, and I was like, hey, I guess I'll learn guitar. So this was what I learned guitar on. If you're going to learn guitar, I recommend starting on acoustic because it is a lot harder to play. So you will just get used to having to really put in a lot of effort to play, so then by the time you go to electric, it's like, whoa, this is way easier, which is, which is a good thing. Uh, here's amps and pedals. Got Fender frontman thing, whatever it's called, that came with the Strat. It was a starter pack. But then I upgraded to this, which is actually a clean amp, so I had to get distortion pedal. But uh, this one works great. It's got two inputs, so I can plug in a mic there, too. I know it's not that loud, but it's fine. So we got a chorus pedal, delay pedal, boost, distortion, and looper. The chorus, boost, and distortion I usually have on a lot. I, um... So I made this death metal EP with my friend James, and I used this guitar for it. That will be getting released soon. It's a demo. We'll probably re-record it eventually, get a final thing. That's yeah, cool. This is a PV amp. This is uh, my friend Nix. He plays in my band, and uh, it's a big amp, and he doesn't want to carry it every week. So he leaves it here, which is fine with me because I have to help him carry it. <laughs> and he's got a Prex amp at home, so it's cool. This is a clock I threw at the wall when I got angry. It didn't really work anyway. Just headphones, music stand, stuff like that. Um, so over here is my CD collection. In my previous channel, I did do a video showing this, but it has grown a lot since then. So we'll, uh, we'll go through this, I guess. So starting off, these are in alphabetical order. We have Spreading the Disease by Anthrax. Um, my friend James told me to listen to this album, so I did, and it was really, really good. Thanks, James. 
I have two Beartooth albums. This is Disgusting by Beartooth. And this is Disease by Beartooth, which I got right when the album came out. They they put out a video on YouTube saying that it was in Target. And my mom had to go to Target for something that they, they know said. So I was like, oh, well, uh, you know, this came out. <laughs> I have five Blink-182 albums. They are my favorite band. Um, this is Dude Ranch. This is probably my favorite Blink album. Maybe not the best in terms of songs, but like, I mean, there are some really good songs in here, but there's some crappy ones, like two crappy ones. But this was like basically the second album I ever listened to. It's, it's really good. It's a really good album. Got me into Blink. This here was the first CD I ever bought. Well, I bought this in Dookie by, I bought this in Dookie by Green Day. But this one I picked out first, and I actually almost got Insomniac instead of Dookie, but I was like, come on, man, Dookie's my favorite album. Well, it was at the time. It's my second favorite now. Uh, Take Off Your Pants and Jacket by Blink-182. This is probably their third best, in my opinion. Self-titled, also a great album. Neighborhoods. Um, my second favorite album by Blink. Super underrated. Uh, definitely deserves more love. I have two albums by Brand New. Uh, this is Deja and Tendu. Really, really good album. And then this is The Devil and God of Raging Inside Me. My favorite brand new album. Probably in my top ten for favorite albums of all time. This thing, this thing is just so good. It's such a good album. You should really check it out if you're ever in a relaxed mood. Um... Phobia by Breaking Benjamin. I haven't heard this album in ages. I haven't listened to Breaking Benjamin in ages, but they're in my top five for favorite bands ever. And I, I just, this is a great album. This one's my favorite by them, Dear Agony. And then their newest album, Ember. Really, really good. Um, Cannibal Corpse, I got to see live. Slayer's final world tour. I saw Cannibal Corpse, Monomarth. Um, Lamb of God and Slayer, of course. <laughs> I don't know if I already said them, but whatever. Cannibal Corpse opened. They should have got a longer set, but whatever. I got to see them live, and they they were really, really good. This is Eaten Back to Life. Very, very underrated album by Cannibal Corpse. This was their first. It's got some good songs on it. And um, Tomb of the Mutilated, I think is how you say that. I don't know. But uh, definitely the best album cover in the world. <laughs> I bought this. This is the most recent one I added to my collection. I bought it yesterday. No, not yesterday, but like a few days ago. With Nimrod by Green Day. And I'm surprised the cashier didn't give me a weird look. Like, oh, Nimrod, I love that. Oh, my God. What is this? <laughs> I don't know. But maybe maybe they, maybe they, she liked Cannibal Corpse. You never know. Leprosy by Death. My favorite death metal album ever. My favorite death album. This thing is just really, really good. Um... I, I mean, I still remember the first time I heard it. I was just blown away. And then Symbolic by Death. Also a really good Death album. My third favorite. I, I want to get The Sound of Perseverance, but their CDs are really, really overpriced. This, Bonded by Blood, is my favorite metal album of all time. It's just a classic by Exodus. Uh, I mean, this... <laughs> The Exodus wasn't even the first thrash band I discovered. I just really, really liked this album when I heard it. And I was like, okay, yeah, this is better than, than a lot of stuff. Dookie by Green Day, the first album I ever listened to. Green Day was the first band I ever listened to, thanks to my friend Nick. He told me about them in fifth grade, and I was like, all right, I'll check them out. And love them since. It's really good. I have Insomniac here. Great album, too. Uh, I'm saying the same thing. These are all okay. Any CD I have in here is a great album. All right, let's get that out of the way. Nimrod, very underrated. Actually, not really noticed it. It's like second most popular on Spotify. Surprise, American Idiot wasn't even there, but also very good. I stole that from my dad. <laughs> Havoc, Time Is Up. I wanted their No Karate in the Pit shirt, so I listened to some of their albums and I picked this one. It's my favorite. Uh, Korn, self-titled. Korn's second best album, in my opinion. Issues, first Korn album I heard. Serenity of Suffering, their newest. And I'm really excited for their next album, because 
This one is my favorite by them. I think that, just their new sound, I really like. Ashes of the Wake by Lamb of God. Meteora by Linkin Park. Got two Metallicas here. Ride the Lightning. And Injustice for All. I wish I could get Injustice for Jason, but I already have this, so I don't really want two Injustice for Alls. Megadeth, Peace Sells, but who's buying it? Black Braid by My Chemical Romance. Meshuggah. Obzin or whatever. I don't, I don't know. I don't really understand most gent music, but Meshuggah. Really good band. And you should check out Bill Burr, what he said about them, because it was really funny. He was describing the song Bleed. Punk and Drublick by No Effects. Funny joke here, because it really should say Drunk in Public, but <laughs> they swapped the letters, which is kind of funny. Very funny band. This is my band. Noise Complaint. Our album Blackout. We're going to come out with a new album in a few weeks, hopefully. Um, but, you know, all of us kind of have different schedules, so it's really hard to find certain dates where they can come and record because I can't do weekends and certain weekdays other guys can't do. Smash by The Offspring. Rise and Fall, Rage and Grace. This album holds a special place in my heart because it was like also one of the first albums that I ever heard. I think I said that earlier about the poster. Far Beyond Driven by Pantera. Rage Against the Machine, self-titled. Rage Against the Machine, Battle of Los Angeles. Royal Blood, this band's really cool. It's only two guys. It's a bassist and a drummer and the bassist uses an octave pedal so it sounds like there's a guitar but it's really it's an octave pedal so you hear like octave higher which is guitar and then it's, but it's all in a bass show no mercy by slayer rain and blood by slayer south of heaven my favorite slayer album slipknot self-titled this is my second favorite metal album iowa my second favorite slipknot album Volume 3. Really hyped for Slipknot's new one. I might buy it, depending on how good it is. Um, Slipknot and Tennis to Hell. Some 41, All Killer No Filler. I'm definitely going to buy their album when it comes out. Does This Look Infected? This is my favorite album of all time. Chuck and 13 Voices. <clears throat> so that is my whole CD collection. I might have missed one. Hopefully I didn't. I kind of leave these around sometimes. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. I'll try to upload more. It's summer. I have a lot of free time. Comment down below videos you'd like to see me do because I'm open to anything. Bye.